Well, this year is shaping up to be a political year like none other, with the pandemic bringing mail-in voting to the forefront of the election, ways we could not have even imagined. Yes, and let's go to Colorado now, facing a hot Senate race. It's just begun the process of mailing ballots to every active voter, only one of nine states that actually does that. And here to tell us more about that process and what's going on there in Colorado is the Secretary of State, Jenna Griswold. Thank you so much for spending a little time with us. We know everything is crazy busy for everybody right now. And and look, every state has a different process, it seems. There are lawsuits flying around. You all there in the state actually did have a lawsuit against the Postal Service for some mailers that were sent out giving some wrong information about the process there in Colorado. How concerned are you that there is so much misinformation out there now that your voters in that state are going to have a difficult time? Um, I am highly confident in our elections, and we're going to have a great election here in Colorado. You know, our process is so straightforward. You register to vote, you're mailed a ballot, and then you can return it to one of hundreds of drop boxes, one of hundreds po of polling locations, or by the mail. Uh, but you're right, there is a lot of misinformation in this election, whether it's from elected officials or foreign adversaries. Uh, so we are about to launch a, a program in Colorado encouraging voters to ignore the noise and go to a trusted source of election information. Uh, and that advice is good for all voters across the nation. Uh, just make sure that you're getting your election information from your secretary of state or your county clerk or an other trusted source of information. Secretary, in some states, we have already seen some voters getting the wrong ballots, double ballots. And in your state, specifically, Congressman Ken Buck says some ineligible voters received some ballots. So what's the latest on that situation and what has the remedy been? Well, uh, unfortunately, um, Congressman Buck is spreading debunked information on the elections. Um, but again, it's so important to go to a trusted source of information. Uh, he's actually referring to just a PSA, not actual ballots. Ballots only go to registered voters here in Colorado. Uh, and Coloradans really use our election system. Uh, you know, we have the highest percentage of eligible people registered to vote. We lead the nation in turnout. And we are also considered the secure state to cast a ballot. All right, so we're, let's go to Election Day. And you got some attention here and kind of walked back uh, some tweets that you had, essentially asking the media not to report any election returns and results on election night. Now, you, like I said, you walked it back a little bit. So tell me why you said it in the first place and clear it up. Do you still believe the media should be holding the election night results? Well, what I was referring to uh, was actually winners or losers of the presidential candidates, uh, the presidential campaigns, excuse me. Um, and I'm fully confident that the media can get it right. Uh, but what I was trying to highlight is that there's new election models across the nation. Uh, we have rapidly expanded in other states uh, different ways to, to have accessible elections during the pandemic. And I'm fully confident in every secretary of state's and election officials' ability to execute this election. Secretary Griswold, of course, come Election Day, still the option will be to have that in-person voting. And you've hired poll workers, but not just any poll workers. In fact, you've hired election judges. How is that different? How does that work? Well, in Colorado, we have bipartisan teams of election judges at every step of the process. And one of the things we saw uh, in other states in the primaries was the uh, lack of election workers. So I actually launched an election judge recruitment effort. We, we recruited thousands of election judges, uh, and they will start, they're started actually right now, um, all through in-person early voting and through the processing of mail ballots. We really believe in those bipartisan judges because that's how one of the reasons we know our elections are, are so good. We have bipartisan oversight through the entire process. Well, Secretary Griswold, we know it is a very, very busy time for you, so we appreciate you making time to join us today. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right, and be sure, folks, you can get specific guidance on voting in your state from our partners at 538. They're at How to Vote in 2020 website. And up next. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.